you think? Three draw. Are we on the play or on the draw? I can't see. Play. Play. Snap redraw. Probably too risky, right? Snap redraw. Yeah, Snap redraw. Re we do not keep two power hands on the play with mid range decks. Just simply don't. Yeah, well, sometimes it works. <laughs> it's just a rookie mistake. So the usual four slays, only two How can I serve? only two annihilates. Halt! Four Tavrod, two Maktos, four Harshul. Can we hold Doom as refuel for after Harsh? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's reasonable. So we just develop command on it? Probably, yeah. I don't like having that avoided. You're cutting out. Oh, no. Now we just commando a sabotage. The fuck? This is all units? All units and power. But yeah, that means we can like... Well, he actually doesn't run that many uh, non-unit things. Well, I mean, between like, poster, harsh rule, removal spells, rune hack... It's pretty interesting to sabotage an Argentport deck and see just one sword of this guy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, whatever, I'll take it. So we're not playing around anything now, basically. No, we do still have to play around top decks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah top decks, but we... Oh. I think we Bloodletter next turn. Which one? I think the, we Bloodletter the Valkyrie Enforcer, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. I'm gonna hold off on the Sabotage until we want to play Doom. Um, actually... Hmm. Never mind, we could have almost played Doom. But yeah. I think that's way too weak into Harsh Rule. Like, we end up with an unplayable Bloodletter in hand. That's like, true. But only if he top decks Harsh Rule, though. To be fair, wait a second before you pass. I think we might want to sabotage here. Yeah, he moused over something, right? That doesn't matter. The thing is just, it doesn't yeah, really yeah. get better from waiting. I, I think we're still... If he draws removal... The thing is, if he draws removal... He's gonna kill the Enforcer, because the Enforcer is bigger than Doom anyway. So waiting a turn doesn't really do a whole lot. So I think we might... Although actually he can draw into like expensive spells that he cannot play right away. So maybe waiting is mildly better. So just wait. We can still just play Sabotage and Doom next turn. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not the thing. The point is mainly whether or not he actually drew a removal last turn. Because it doesn't make a difference, but there's the slight difference of him drawing like into another uh, sort of Sky King, for example, that we get if we wait a turn longer. Yeah. So next turn will we Doom plus sabotage? Just definitely Doom sabotage. It's not gonna get any better from here on. No, we will play our top deck Tavrad. Okay, yeah. Actually, yeah. actually, we probably, actually, we probably might not do that. If we draw a Tavrod, we just do sabotage. Still, probably. And I think we attack here. Mm, I mean, we just double block to get a scissor out of his deck. Yeah, don't. You don't want to. This is actually better now. Yeah, probably. 
I guess. We just, it, it's, it's actually, actually better, better for him because it yeah. doesn't make any future porters like he draws like easy attackers. That's true. Watch him draw another everyone. No, the value. That's so unlikely oh, to do anything here. He's two units. Or, or a power. Power. a power and a unit, maybe. Please, if he doesn't play a power. unit here, it's a. <clears throat> if he doesn't play a unit here, it's a power. It's a power. And we drew a Tavrot, and looks like we're winning. You go for the throat with the Tavron? Yeah. Of course. I mean, yeah, yeah I guess yeah. we just end up in a basically equal state. I mean, he also plays Tavrot and he plays Makto, so he has much better late game. I don't think we can just play around top to harsh rule here. I mean, he, he does, does have, have to harsh rule this if he draws him. I think it's really, really close, actually. It's better against every other card. Sharpen those hordes. Halt! Wait, was that what he drew? Falcon? Was that yeah. the last card in his hand? No, no, that's what he drew. I'm pretty sure that's what he drew. Would be weird if he held that back. So... Okay. How do we bloodletter? Um... Ace base, maybe? I think we have to bloodletter the Doom. Yeah. And attack with Tavrod. I was thinking about Ace basing, but... No, no, I think like the two, three. Like he can chomp the two, the five. I just don't think attack into two, three. Yeah, like yeah. if we didn't attack before, we're not gonna do it now. He's basically gonna trade the two, one for the two, three if we do that. Like basically now he can either trade, yeah, he can uh, trade. It was correct to attempt like this. <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> also good, good that we do the math in hindsight after giving advice. <laughs> well, math is for blockers. <laughs> you gotta remember no, like... I mean you just prove that you. <laughs> You just prove that that, that that mass is also. F mass is you just suffering. you just prove that mass is also for attackers. Because if you wouldn't do the mass, you would have thrown away a two three here. A two three that is now yeah, threatening our point. So I think. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think we played a commando so that his only out is harsh rule and everything else kills him. Only out is harsh rule. No. So. And we know that he have one power, so his only out is harsh rule. And then we can uh, fuel But yeah, but like, like, even, even if it's, it's not it's harsh rule, right? Even if it's any, any removal rule. spell? Like, if, if it's, it's Makdo, he's dead. If it's a removal spell, he's still dead. He has the question is, what is the other card? Do we think he has two power cards in hand? Yes. Okay, then I guess we can pass. Yeah. To be yeah, better off against Harshul. Yeah, he had something that he didn't play with five power open. I mean, it could also be Sword of the Sky King, but he's still, still dead even with that. It could, it could actually be. Yeah. yeah, Sword doesn't win it for him. Ah, he drew a sabotage. Ah, there we go. Sabotage. I did that Sword of the Sky King would still have in that so. Yeah, yeah, that's what I checked. Like, uh, so Sword doesn't do it. His deck is like, like bad Argent port mid range if it doesn't get wrong. <laughs> Basically. Speaking of which, I actually got like. Which is why I think. Which is why I think Argent port control doesn't make sense, and also Argent port control with three, want, three wanted posters makes even less sense. Yeah. So, what um, the fuck? I think I like everything about the sideboard that. Three Maktos, Bonehammer. 
Yeah, I mean, we had sideboard plan in, in place that uh, okay, seemed one, good, right? One thing that we, I guess we could consider is, like, do we want to cut, like, more overseers and play, like, two halberds? I don't like cutting overseers against him, why would we do that? And halberd <laughs> is pretty crappy against him. He is not controlling enough, has way too many dudes where halberd sucks. Yeah, I yeah. don't like halberd versus this okay. dude. Yeah. And I guess we just roll with Like, Halberd is legit worse against him than it is in, like, the Argentport mirror. Like, yeah. the well, mid range I mean, I mirror. Is actually pretty good in the Argentport mirror. Kills, like, every. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just saying, like, the card is. You put the card in the board for control or whatever, and it's actually better in the Argentport mirror than it is against this control deck, is what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's better if they play, like, uh, Instigator, uh, Interrogator, and stuff. All the gullible turtles. I mean, like, I actually kind of wonder if, like, I'm surprised. Like, why are you even playing these quarters? And why not just like put harsh rule in your argent point mid deck? I, I kind of like the porters. I think porter is probably underplayed. But sweet. There was a card like that in Magic that was a bit better. It got any color and it got it into play when it died. Wait, oh, yeah, that's, that, that's a lot better. <laughs> Ramp dude that also fetches. What was that card called, actually? Meridian Emissary from Meridian Besieged. I'll just report that we won the last game. It was a 2 1. Yeah, it was a 2 1 Ramp and Crows, basically. Could not be. Double card removal spells. On. It was basically a worse Sakura trap at it. Really makes you appreciate just how good. Some <laughs> you are still cutting out on a regular <laughs> basis. Uh, sorry, the microphone, my name is starting to wrap out on me. Not sure if it's your microphone or just Discord, because Discord. Discord voice chat has been pretty choppy on various occasions with various people. Not sure if and how choppy I am, but yeah. No, you no, no, no. Like, you, you guys, guys aren't being choppy, so it's probably my mic. I know a few people that couldn't actually join the, uh, the speaking part of Discord because it actually crashed their other games. But oh. no idea why. So what is this dude bringing in? Protect, sabotage, annihilate. I like, like actually action. don't care yeah. what he brings in. <laughs> Falcon. I think. I think I actually don't. Care what he brings. In. This is not relevant. It's more well, relevant. They, they do board in the burglar for sure. But other than that. Burgle, burgle. To annihilate, most likely. Yeah. Annihilate is pretty good again. They probably don't want the bailiffs. <laughs> I mean, at least we were right in the sense that the other team at least also had an Argent port and a uh, Felon deck, even though. <laughs> Two different ones. I actually don't see any reason to not bring these two decks. Like, your third deck is kind of a lot more up in the air, but like, why would you not bring a Felon and a This is zero. Well, you probably at least bring a Tavrod deck. You can also bring like Armory over Arjunport, for example. Yeah. I mean, if you have something that can like really, really hard counter burn, then I guess Armory may. But I think like that matchup is so, so terrible. Like, against the heavy charge decks. Not sure yeah. how terrible it is. It's really it's bad. bad. It's really bad. I, I was playing Armory for a little bit and it just gave up on it. Because it was... You just, just get, get char shot. charged it down so hard. Yeah, the charge is pretty annoying, that's true. 
And like the fact that they actually play burn spells, Soulfire Drakes means that like unlike Rally, Harsh Rule into Tabrod doesn't win you the game. Or does Rally? Hey man, do you actually spoiler in your own chat? Oh, I guess I did. <laughs> I'm not used to delay, man. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, I, I guess he did say that when it looked like really over. So. Also, I have... You have your uh, deck overlay on your deck, I guess. I can't really see. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. Good point. I should update it to the current deck. As we go into what is hopefully the last game. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready to join. Oh, no, no. I was just—I was being preemptive of like hoping that we just win this game. <laughs> Play anymore. Okay. By the way, are we sure that we like Blood Letter better than than Amulet? Like getting a five I five. Think, like... Getting a 5-5 five, okay, five so beast I turn 3 is so brutal. It's not even close between the two. For tournaments, I can maybe be convinced of playing amulets over blood leathers if we're like using oh, Argentport as like a... Um... A counter deck. Why? I mean, no. amulet is also really good against aggro. Yeah, but it's not as good as blood leather. Like, blood leather that like it's it's self-swing swing. even on like a small unit. Like, the fact that you're developing a large threat. And at the, so, so double, double sabotage, sabotage Tinker with a Tabrod. Yeah, but making a 5-5 five, five, turn 3 is also pretty game-ending yeah, against Yeah, but against Torch, like, it, it's harder to make use of them. Um, you guys As, think that this is keep? Oh, oh wait, I have to join the game. Uh, yeah. I'm also on the Blood Retriever, is really superior. But, um, hmm, interesting hand. Like, Sabotage is going to be good against I think. And it has a Tabra. Yeah. But it kind of needs to play like, more power. Wait a second, I'm coming. Also, I am, I am really uh, still not convinced that we are running three Runehammers main deck. It's just pretty wrong to me. Um, hmm. No, this anyway, hand. Go over that, like, like, Are we on the play or on the draw? Uh, draw. Mm. On the draw, I actually like it a bit more. I think I like it enough on the draw because we have a reasonable chance yeah. to hit our Tavrot and double sabotage should do a lot of work. And Tinker is at least fairly guaranteed to attack for a while, unless they have Enforcer. It's, it's some kind of threat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If Tinker was like a removal spell, I probably would not keep this hand. Then you definitely wouldn't keep it. If you don't have it, if this hand wouldn't have a two or three drop, you can't keep it. Why would you use the nice one first? I always use the nice one first. Such a misplay. You leave you leave the nice one where you look at it longer in your hand. No, I like. Otherwise, it's, it's pointless. It's a show of dominance. I'm actually also playing the. The shiny ones. So, do we develop the Tinker first or do we use the second? Um, um I think we sabotage. sabotage. Oh, wait. Actually, never mind. <laughs> Just take their harsh. What do they have? What do they have? Harsh or Annihilate or the Sky Kick? Um, sword. Actually, possibly. Oh, wait, not sure. No, harsh. Yeah, I think harsh. I think we can, like, probably... I mean, the thing is, you can actually play around Harsh Rule better than Sword, though. It's gonna be harder to play around Harsh Rule. Like, is it means it? that we're delaying Tavrod until turn 6. Hmm. And playing it along with, like, Tech Backup. Hmm. I like taking the Harsh Rule. That's fine, like, both. I can see both. Like, our deck is just really soft to sort of the Sky King and we have a slow hand. So delaying Tavrod the turn seems better than losing to Sword of the Sky King. I'm gonna go with the harsh. I'm. This might be wrong. But yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but yeah, I mean, 
I really just like look at this hand and look at our deck. I don't see many ways how this hand and this deck is beating a sort of Sky King is the problem. With any sort of interaction. I mean like, he runs it into like a large enough unit and down or something like that. I mean he also has removal. So he has removal yeah. plus sword, which is like worse than Hashu. Plus allows him to keep his board and pressure us. I think we had should have probably taken the Sky King or hope that he just doesn't get to the Sky King in time. But I mean, if he kinda... But if this hand plays a Sky King on turn eight, I don't think we're winning. Unless our Tyrod gets an attack. I'm not protecting. No. Play the commando and. and yep. Protect the, the commando? Okay, there, there's. Uh, if you annihilate the commando, I think we protect it. I think so too, because Tavrod is like way too long off, so we need to keep the pressure up. Yeah, I mean, we need to draw one shadow, and we still have a good play next turn. Yeah, and if we keep the protect for Tavrod, we still need to draw two power to Tavrod yeah, protect. So, pushing it off until like turn six. six which is why I think we protect here, because there's not, we are not realistically protecting Tavrod. Um, wait a second. We're buffing up it, right? We can't play Tavrod. Number. So it's a three-three. Yeah, I think oh, yeah, we played yeah. a hammer. That's what. I, that's why I said wait, because I think we actually want a hammer here. If he ha didn't have a play, like I mean, he might play Tavrod next turn, which sucks. But if he plays like uh, Throne Ward next turn, it's even fine. Yeah, but I mean, even if you play and I guess it paid off that we didn't take Sky King because his deck probably doesn't even play enough power. Well, without it hitting its borders, it definitely doesn't play enough power. I think it has like borders as part of its mana base, so it does. It does. It has thirty, thirty-three with borders. Okay, so you did. Sky King. That's I mean, okay, it definitely though. worked out better that we took. Yes. Bottom. In bottom. Why does this take so long? Bottom that shit. The question is now: Do we want a top road or not? I was actually thinking about the Tavrod play while looking at the favor. I was like, hmm. I think we have to play Tavrod. <laughs> uh, I don't think we play around Harshu, right? Yeah, I think we have to play Tavrod. To just play around anything else. Like, if he plays an Enforcer here, um, for example, it's, it's pretty meh. He didn't actually play his power. He searched for the power and played it. So what but I mean... It's it's more likely that he has either Tavrod or Makto than he has it. Yeah, I think three it, it's a three of that he has. Yeah. yeah. And whatever the fuck this is, this is like either Perfect or Annihilate. And if he plays Tavrod, we at least get our Tavrod trigger first. And then if we if we hit a weapon with I mean, Tavrod, we can't lose. If he has Harsh Rule here, then congrats. See, he has his own Tavrod, and then we put him to three and get our trigger before he does. Okay, come on. Rune Hammer. Let's go. And um, another Tavrod. Yeah, and another Tavrod. Tavrod, come on, Rune Hammer. Yeah, 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 nice. Okay, we win. That's what I meant, like, if you hit Rune Hammer, it's game over. Yeah, I actually can. So let's see. Oh, he, he, he has one Varus, fa Varus favor and top deck so harsh. Yeah. Okay, yeah, fine. That, that would. He only needs two cards. To be fair, to, to be fair, that might have been an argument for not playing Runehammer and just passing. Actually, yes. State your purpose. I think it'd be correct. It was weaker against this. No, I think the correct play would have been to not rune hammer actually. Well, uh, now we're just like the, the the big thing here is why did he board in protect? 
Um, to to save, save his... I mean, he has Tavrod and stuff, and it protects his... It, it counters sabotage and so on. Protects him's fine. Yeah, yeah, like, it, it actually, actually was good. <sighs> Earlier than he blocked the first sabotage, it's just we had two of them. Like, his hand was actually really good. And look, he died last card in the hand, so did the sky king. Taking harsh work. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, so, uh, good game. We won our first week. Yep. 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 We won. Well, this is definitely a better start than we had uh, last. Yeah, for sure.